Hey, Marvel Tears! I want to talk to you about the new Black Widow trailer that uh, just premiered today. And I'm just going to run uh, through some of my first thoughts on the whole thing. Uh, of course, I gotta say, this looks like it's going to be the coolest film of 2013. Okay, look, it's late. That's my biggest complaint about this whole thing is it really does feel like we're uh, closing the barn door after the cows have gone. So, the uh, that that's my biggest frustration. I've, as a fan of the MCU and Marvel in general, but the MCU specifically, um, it's been like a near flawless franchise, which has been really ambitious doing all these films. But mistakes have been made here and there. To me, one of the biggest ones is the fact that they have completely slept on a Black Widow film. This should have come out in Phase 2, perhaps right after uh, Age of Ultron, which to me felt like it was setting up a Black Widow film, and nothing came about it. Uh, no matter of fact, there's some stuff, there's some footage in this trailer from the Age of Ultron movie, so it really does feel like, yeah, kind of this is where we were going. Oh, well, you know, hey, what, you know what, better late than never. And this almost feels like a, uh, it really does feel like how they're going to deal with it is, I feel like this is going to be a period film. I feel like this is going to take place sometime during the Phase 2 era. Uh, I'm not sure when, but I'm sure they'll specifically place it in there at some point. And maybe there'll be a point of time where we get to see after Endgame. Uh, because I really don't think Scarlett Johansson will be in any more Black Widow movies after this. I really do feel like this is her swan song. This is her epilogue movie that she was denied all this time. And now we finally get to do one with her. And, you know, because she's earned it. She's more than earned it. Uh, I do think in order to keep, like, Black Widow going, I, I think we're going to see a, a passing of the baton to this other character who is mentioned... Uh, I'm not sure if this is the specific character I'm thinking of in the comics, the other Black Widow. Uh, she mentions uh, she's her sister, and they have that fight in the Killing Eve apartment. That's the Killing Eve apartment, right? That's that's Villanelle's apartment. Am I, am I not? Am I crazy? Am I the only one who's noticed this? Anyway, they have a fight, and it does look like they're going to bond uh, throughout the story. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if. Yeah, she kind of like, you know, takes over the mantle maybe in uh, future sequels. Like, you know, if they do any more Black Widow films, uh, like, you know, two, two and three. Uh, I know that the trilogy idea has been kind of like going on, although Thor has broken that, um, that, uh, that system. So um, I'm really excited. Of course, this is, uh, looks like it's her getting to take care of some loose ends in her life. Uh, she's going back to Russia. We see Red Guardian, played by David Arbor. And, oh, I mean, I love David Arbor, and he's great. Uh, he looks great in the Red Guardian costume. I can't wait. I can't believe I'm seeing Red Guardian in a movie. We've gotten to this point where Red Guardian and the Taskmaster can show up. Uh, we only got brief glimpses of his costume. It looks okay. Um, I'm not sure if that costume could look great in live action. It's one of those iffy costumes that I have to see it to really know. I mean, some costumes like, oh yeah, I can't wait to see that on film. And others are like, eh, let's see what we got here. Um, so yeah, um, I'm pretty excited, despite the fact that this movie is five years too late. Uh, I'm, uh, I definitely want to see it. Uh, really looks like nice action pack. It looks like it's going to go in the more serious tone in the MCU films, which is a good idea. Uh, and it may kind of like set the seeds of what they're going to be doing in phase four. So I'm kind of all in on this one. Uh, what do you think, the viewers at home? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And you can uh, like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Uh, and let's see. Oh, hey, I'm on various social places. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter. You can support this channel uh, at a dollar a month over on Patreon. And, uh, oh, hey, I write. Uh, you can buy my comics over on mantlespublishing.com. All right, I think that's it for now, so uh, we'll be talking later. Push the button, Lindsay.